we created something called the Impact Award. This is an award given to a person or a company that the Women Tech Council wants to recognize for their impact to our community. This award has been given in the past to Amy Reese Anderson, Josh James, Amanda Hudson, and also to eBay. Sarah Jones is presenting this award today. Sarah, you're already up here. I don't have to ask you to come up. Uh, Sarah is a partner at Enablement and also co-founder of the Women Tech Council. Let's give her a warm round of applause. And I'm also much shorter than Shauna. <laughs> It's my distinct honor to present the Impact Award this year to Utah Valley University. Three years ago, Women Tech Council wanted to disrupt the way that our high school girls are exposed to STEM careers. We believed if we could create something that made STEM fun and interesting and engaging and brought hundreds of girls together and put hundreds of industry people in front of them that we could change the way they thought about STEM careers and their pathway onto those careers. And we wanted to do this all in a single day. President Matthew Holland was visionary in positioning Utah Valley University's focus on applied technology, which made it just natural for us to partner with UVU in creating this kind of program. When we approached UVU, they willingly took on this challenge, provided us a venue space, and gave us a great planning team to make this happen, and hence was born SheTech Explorer Day. Many of you know of this program. Our first year, we had 356 high school girls attend, and over the last three years, it's grown. Last year, we had almost 1,200 high school girls come out to SheTech. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know SheTech, let's watch a short video so you can see what these girls experienced during this day. wish we all had this program when we were in high school. It is such a fun day. In addition to UVU anchoring this amazing program, Women Tech Council also owes gratitude to the many technology companies who have provided workshops, tech zone booths, and industry mentors for our tech challenge. We've had over 35 companies and astounding 238 industry mentors, mentors come and spend the day with these high school girls. Recently, Women Tech Council was honored to receive its first grant funding ever from the Utah Cluster Partnership Acceleration Program to allow us to build a repeatable and scalable model for SheTech. And we're proud to announce that SheTech pilots will launch at Weber State University and Dixie University, as well as in Idaho and Colorado. So this little program, yeah, we're very excited. This little program that started three years ago is now has the capacity to expose thousands of high school girls and middle school girls across the nation. We couldn't be more thrilled. And through the UCAP grant, we'll also connect these girls to st other STEM programs and STEM industry certifications, STEM scholarships, and internships. So I want you to play along with me. We're gonna do a little exercise just so everyone can visualize how powerful this program has been. So I would like to ask the house lights to be up just a little bit so everybody can see this. Well, I'd like to ask the following to stand and to remain standing. Anyone who works at Utah Valley University, please stand, play along with me. Anyone who works at Utah Valley University, anyone who works at US Synthetics, I Am Flash, Ancestry.com, and Adobe. These were our first black diamond sponsors of SheTech. Don't be shy, stand up, please. Anyone who works at the STEM Action Center, Dixie State University, Weber State University, the Governor's Office of Economic Development, UEN, Utah Futures, Utah State Higher Ed, the Department of Workforce Services, Utah State Office of Education, these were our government partners on the grant. Anyone who works for these industry partners for our UCAP grant, Certiport, 
Rise Point, Salt Stack, Lucid Software, I Am Flash, Merit CX, Health Catalyst, Domo, EMC, and Plural Site. Anyone who works for our education partners, Mountain Land Region, Salt Lake School District, Wasatch Front Consortium, or any education partner who has brought students to SheTech. And there was one high school that came 300 miles to bring their girls to SheTech. Anyone who's done a workshop, a tech zone booth, or been an industry mentor for SheTech, please stand. And any students who are still here, I know some of them had to leave, but if there's any still here. So look around, and I hope you can see that SheTech would not have been possible without all of this amazing support, and especially Utah Valley University. I want to invite President Matthew Holland to please accept this award on behalf of Utah Valley University. The, uh, the best public speaking advice I ever got was from a woman who shares my last name, though she was seven at the time. That's my daughter, Grace. It was my first graduation a speech at UVU. It was a couple of nights before, and I was starting to feel the pressure. What would I say to those thousands of people and esteemed graduates? And so I just opened up the family. I said, what, what do you guys think I should say? Graduation, without missing a beat. My seven-year-old daughter said, just tell him, congrats, bada-bing, bada-boom, have a great summer. <laughs> I should probably do something similar here and just sit down, uh, but I am too, too grateful not to share just a few words. This is such an honor for us uh, as an institution. And you know, you don't have to watch uh, Shauna Lake very long on the news these days to, to recognize we have some real problems in this country uh, and they're getting quite intense and we all feel it and so all the more refreshing really all the more inspiring that we see something that's that's happening right now that is so right and is so good and is filled with such positive energy and it, it gives you hope for the future and not just for the tech sector I believe that what what's happening here is something larger than about developing technology in the tech industry in the state. I believe that the answers, not just to, to that sector's uh, problems uh, are here, but the answers to civil society, to our community issues, rest in the future genius and creativity of the women who are being produced and encouraged to lead out and contribute as a result of what's happening here. And so I think we'd be remiss if we didn't say thanks tonight to the one person who's not yet been thanked, and that's uh, Sydney Tetro. Thank you for your leadership and what you're doing here. It is a, an inspiring thing to come to the SheTech conference. Uh, at one point, we have a luncheon at our UCCU Center. It's a hall bigger than this hall, filled with hundreds and hundreds of promising young women whose future is bright and even brighter because of what they're experiencing. So I'm very grateful for this partnership. And uh, we believe at UVU that that's not just enough to do it in the tech sector. There are complementary things we need to be doing. And so we have a women in education initiative. And uh, let me plead with this group here to say, it's not just about tech, it's about getting girls to college and getting them to complete degrees. We have to change the culture in the state on that front. And we have a Women in Leadership initiative. Because of the raw, untapped potential that is there, we need that voice, we need that insight in our boardrooms, in our councils, on our cabinets. And uh, we're grateful for the leadership uh, at our university and around the state that's making a difference there. And so if I could, I, I really just stand here on behalf of a very talented and energetic team who makes all of this happen. If I could ask uh, the following to please stand and be recognized. Associate Dean Daniel Horns. Assistant Dean Cheryl Hanowitz, uh, Dr. Angela Trigo, Dean Daniel Fairbanks, Dr. Susan Madsen, Shauna Theobald, and Susan Thackeray. They're the ones that have made all this happen. Thank you very much.
Lastly, just let me say that as important as all this is for the community, this is very personal. Part of the reason I'm doing what I do and I'm excited about what we're doing at UVU is for Grace Holland, who's now 14, and in another seven years, she'll be in her 20s, she'll be in college, she'll be looking at opportunities. We've got to do it. I want my daughters, Grace and her sister Mitzi, their friend Sophie Wright, who's here today, to grow up with every opportunity in the world for them. It'll not only be great for them, it'll be fantastic for the rest of us if we can make that happen. Thank you very much. Thank you.